Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and this is Ask a Herbert Erpaderp, the thing that happens on Wednesdays in which I, Herbert Erpaderp, answer questions and respond to comments from you, people that aren't Herbert Erpaderp. It was just Christmas, in case you didn't realise, and a lot of you wished me a Merry Christmas. I just want to say thanks, I appreciate it, and Merry Christmas to you. It was an alright Christmas for me, nothing too exciting happened, but on the plus side, nothing awful happened, which is always good. I hope you all had an excellent Christmas, and if you don't celebrate it, I hope the weekend was good for you too. As you can see, the background, yet again, is World of Tanks. I'll probably have something different in the coming weeks. These battles are myself being reckless and probably not very smart in my M7, an ace tanker in my Chinu, probably saying that wrong, and an ace tanker in my Type T34, which I'm probably saying right. And maybe something else, depending on how long the audio file for this goes once it's done. It'll be a surprise. Hooray! Everyone likes surprises. Unless it's surprise bot sex, I guess. Moving right along, let's get to the questions and comments. Polska Patriot is na. Uh, Polska says, give me a half on my comment, please. Okay, here you go. God damn, am I ever funny? The answer is no, I'm never funny. Top Bunk Productions says, Have you ever heard of Commando Comics? They're digest-sized, 80-page comic books of mainly World War II action. I have amassed a huge collection of them, and a lot of them have tanks as either the focus or a major part of the plot. I have not. I'm not really into comic books at all. I was never really given them as a kid, so I guess I missed out on developing an interest in them. So the chances of me happening upon Commando Comics is pretty low. But comics about tanks do sound appealing. I might look for it next time I'm in a place that sells comics. I actually just googled them and the Commando logo looks kind of familiar. I've at least seen that somewhere before. Toa Duncanuva says, Three things this time. Have you stopped playing War Thunder? Have you played the two Australian tanks in World of Tanks? And any tips on model painters who can't access airbrush stuff? Also, to get my name, it's Dun Can Nuva. Dun Can Nuva. Haha, <laughs> I learned. I've not stopped playing War Thunder, but I haven't been playing it lately. But it is installed. See? Right here. I haven't really felt like playing it since I've installed the graphics card though. I will soon enough. I'm getting a bit sick of playing so much World of Tanks, and my premium time there is expiring soon. I could of course play both, but then I'd be spending way more hours playing games and I'd get nothing else done. I do have the AC-1 Sentinel in World of Tanks, but I don't have the AC-4 Experimental. I might pick that up one day, but I didn't really see the point in buying it when it came out. And I've barely played the Sentinel at all, but I will soon. I'm thinking I might make a video with it for Australia Day, which is in January. So be ready for immature jokes at the expense of machine gun housings and exaggerated Aussie accents. And probably more swearing than usual. Advice for those without access to airbrush stuff. I'm not sure. I guess be patient. Not using an airbrush makes things take longer, which is a large part of why I prefer using an airbrush. Thin your paint and do multiple coats to avoid streaks and use appropriately sized brushes. You probably don't want to paint large flat surfaces with a fine detail brush. It's important that people don't get stuck in the trap of thinking that you need an airbrush. You don't. You can do pretty much all the same things with a regular old brush. It's just usually a little bit slower. I see it as being kind of like paying to avoid grinding in a game. Impervid says, Herbert's salty moments sounds like an amazing development in snack food technology. I'm not entirely sure I would want to put a Herbert's salty moment in my mouth. But it would be an amazing product to sell, and you can bet that if I'm ever in a position to have such a product made, I will. Think of the great marketing materials that could be made. It's almost reminiscent of chocolate salty balls. Mmm, suck em, my chocolate salty balls. Stick em in your mouth and suck em. I don't know if that's how the tune actually went, but I'm an awful singer anyway, so it's okay, I guess. Jacob says, I loved the part where you got stuck in that building. He also tried to fool me with a fake read more thing, but it didn't work. You can't fool me. Wahoo Warrior also enjoyed that moment, adding, When the bigger tank came over to help, it reminded me of a video I watched where elephants run over to help little elephants. It was pretty funny, and I wasn't expecting to get stuck there at all. I rarely ever see that map, so I was going to explore and try to find cool new jumps with my fast tank. And I did find one, I guess. But now I need to wait for that map to come up again so I can find more. I do enjoy doing jumps. You can tell I'm a very serious World of Tanks player. 
Both the AMX and Agrilla 15 spent a significant amount of time trying to help me get free, which was both very nice and very unusual for World of Tanks. And we still won despite them effectively being out of the battle while trying to help me. Good times. I'm going to try that jump again. If only that map came up more often in the rotation. Instead, I end up playing Sand River every second battle. Gustav2 Adolf says, Do you have any model ships awaiting construction? If so, I'd certainly like to see a video about it. About the ship waiting for construction? I'm afraid that will be kind of boring. Seriously though, I don't have any ships to build yet. I do have some Christmas money to dispose of now though, so maybe a ship would be a good idea. I won't set a date, but in the new year I will definitely build a ship. John Smith says, 1. Can you make an airbrush tutorial video? 2. Can you post a picture of your Tiger P for Flames of War? I'm going to do at least one airbrush related video for Herbert Erpaderp's quick tips in the near future. It is going to be some pretty basic stuff, but it is something that gets requested quite a lot, so I will be getting to it. Also, here's the Tiger P. I quite like this model, and the Tiger P in general. It's an interesting looking tank. The regular Tiger looks awesome too, but it's kind of a shame that the Porsche version was unsuccessful. Martin Strickfuss says, Cheers for the answers, Herbert. How's the rat going? I know it's just a typo, but I like to imagine that you're asking about the band Rat, rather than just forgetting the E in the tank's name. Sorry, I don't know the band Rat personally, if any of their members are even still alive. The Rat model? It's going. Well, I guess it hasn't gone anywhere, really. It's on the shelf waiting. I'm getting closer to the Patreon goal that would force me to paint it, but I still have a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to paint first. On Friday, I put up a video about my adventures in city management in city skylines, which was apparently pretty surreal, at least according to Steve Jones. That really tickles my fancy. Can I claim to be a surrealist YouTuber or something like that now? Robzalot says, You are officially unpredictable. Don't change. But if I don't change, I'll start getting stinky. I do like that. Being unpredictable is good. As much as I do enjoy the things that I do, doing the same thing all the time is boring. I don't think I could ever make my channel focused enough to only do one thing without getting completely sick of it. And I hear variety is the spice of life, and I like spicy food. So spicy life is good, I guess? Seahorn Actual says, This game looks cool. Would like more videos like this. The game is really cool. I'm sure it's not everyone's cup of tea and it would suck if it was, but I really enjoy it and it looks really pretty too. It's one of those games I like to play when I can't sleep or I just want to sit and chill and listen to music without having to be alert, if that makes sense. And I will definitely be making more videos about it, especially considering they're pretty easy to put together. Matthias Kellerman says, Does the game allow the release of monsters to destroy the cities? Unfortunately, no. Not in the vanilla game. I do hope the Disasters DLC adds something like that though. SimCity used to have a giant Godzilla thing that would come along and have its way with your city, and I would hope to be able to do the same thing in City's Skylines. I haven't actually looked into it to see if the DLC would allow that. I'll look that up later. A Jazz for Rock says, Who knew running your drinking water supply underneath the industrial area would be such a problem? It was kind of a surprise to me. I guess the water tower pulls the water out of the ground, and I believed it was simply used for storing the water. I just wanted a nice water tower to greet the visitors to my city, but instead many people got sick and I assume they died slowly and painfully. Sucks to be them. I probably won't do it again. The next terrible thing I do is a mystery. Top Bunk Productions says, Welcome to Chernobyl 2.0. Population, about 100 and rising. No, wait, what's the opposite of rising again? It's kind of like a discount Chernobyl, isn't it? We couldn't afford nuclear disaster, but we do have stinky water and rampant illness. Which is just as good, no? <laughs> that was a fucking awful accent. Who knows, once I get to the stage where I can have nuclear power, I might have my own Chernobyl. Derp Noble? I'm glad I don't actually have to live in my city. Because it was Christmas Day the other day, as you, you're probably aware of that, I uploaded a very sensible video about throwing Santa from a car and the following comments were on that video. The Big Boy says, A more appropriate title would be Herbert the Mature Adult. I seriously laughed every second of this video. Happy Xmas, by the way. 
I hope your Xmas was great too. I think Herbert the Mature Adult is a suitable title for almost all of my videos. I mean, it's pretty accurate. It would get a little bit silly having so many videos with the same title though. That's why I use different titles. Jacob, with a different name, says, I enjoy watching fat men dressed like Santa flying. He's pretty damn majestic and graceful, isn't he? If only we regular folk who aren't dressed like Santa could have such elegance. Potato Inc. says, Do you play the card game Munchkin by any chance? It's dead, Jim. Take its stuff. I have not played Munchkin, though I did see the episode of Tabletop where they played it and it looked like a lot of fun. I don't often get the chance to play actual tabletop or card games, though Munchkin is definitely on my list of stuff to play. Top Bunk Productions says, Maybe if Santa was riding a BT-7 he'd get faster and higher. He definitely would. BT-7 is a glorious machine with good strong speed. Actually, this would have been an awesome idea for Wargaming to implement as a Christmas game. They didn't do a Christmas game for PC this year, or last year I don't think. In the past they did make some silly 8-bit games for Christmas and I kind of wish they'd do that again. What I'm trying to say is I would love a version of this game with a tank. Maybe we should suggest it to Wargaming for next year. They will certainly ignore it. Maybe someone else could do it. I would try it, but I have no idea how to make a game. Also, I'm lazy. And that's all the questions and comments for this week, and the final Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb of the year. There will be a Herbert Herbert Herb's Quick Tips on Friday. Patrons should be able to watch it now. And that's it for 2016, thankfully. It has been a bit of a dumpster fire of a year. Let's hope 2017 is much more awesome. Before I go, I want to say a very big thank you to my newest patron, Ken Young. Thank you so much for your support. It is very much appreciated, and I hope you enjoy the bonus content. Also, your card will be on its way soon. As always, if you have questions you would like me to answer in Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb, or just any other random comments you want to make, put them in the comment section below. Comments in the comments section? What a concept! Don't forget to do all the YouTube-y things like liking, subscribing, and so forth. If you really like the videos I make, and you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. For your convenience, there's a link in the description and the end card. Patrons get to see my videos a little early, along with some patron-only bonus content. The December outtakes video is coming soon. As always, I shall return soon. So until then, happy whatever it is you're doing, and thanks for watching. Farewell.